tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hello, what you see here is a nice little animation with dynamics. Two particle systems interact with each other, and I had no problem at all animating this camera. It's a very smooth motion except for this cut. And um, the advantage coming with my 2020 is that we can scrub in the dynamic simulation back and forth in order to set the cameras properly. And different things you can change in the scene without actually changing the dynamics. Uh, you don't need caching all the time. And the dynamics cache uh, is uh, the red line at the bottom of the scene. I'll show you the scene now and uh, then I uh, address the problem. This is the scene. You see the two systems interacting with each other. The blue balls, spheres, dance from left to right and they move the some of the particles, the ones in the middle, down. So they clean that area in the middle. It basically shows that N particles can interact with N particles without any effort. You just place two emitters into the scene, emitter 1, emitter 2 in this case, and then let them interact. But you cannot scrub backward. You see, I'm scrubbing backward now. This makes no sense. I can scrub a little bit forward. It sort of tries to find, find out things, but it's not really working. That's what the Dynamics Cache is good for. This icon down here, I need to active the uh, cache playback and active the cache dynamics and then you have this red line shooting from left to right because it's not a really complicated simulation and now you can go back and forth this is a big advantage especially if you want to set camera motions here but if you want to render this now and i'm going to render it with a graphics card i'm going to go here and CPU GPU I set up the render setting so it renders a sequence uh, so this is not important for this to run. I just want to point you to a bug and we choose a render sequence or batch render I guess I have the educational version here so I just render the sequence do you see it's rendering black and it's already at frame 9 now and this is really odd so I stop the rendering by pressing escape. I really get black pictures here. And uh, when you see this scene, it doesn't update. And when you scrub now, it doesn't update anymore. So what is happening here? I think it's a bug. And uh, when I flush the cache, then it caches new. And when I render again, it renders black. The only way to render this properly is to actually go to the cache playback preferences and deactivate the cache dynamics. That's the, the service we had. Actually, we have to deactivate it now. And when I render the sequence now, render sequence, I see already in the scene the particles are coming up. And here I see them, so it's rendering the particles. So be aware of that, and if you run into this problem that the cached version is not being rendered, just deactivate the cache for now until they fix the bug. Bye-bye.